Good morning everyone, welcome to a, another class with, of yoga with Carlton. So sit in a way that is comfortable for you to sit. Align back of the skull with sacrum and let your arms rest onto your thighs. Lift your belly, diaphragm, lift chest. And give yourself a moment or two as you settle down into practice. Feel as if you've been in your inner space, a safe space. So as usual, as you go through your, cla your class today, keep the focus very much on yourself. Ensure that you're practicing in a way that is safe and clutter free so that you're not likely to bump into anything or hurt yourself with anything. If you have any injuries, be mindful of the injuries that you have. And when you go into the poses, increase your awareness so that you're not pushing so hard so that you're hurting or aggravating uh, existing injuries. There will be alternatives offered uh, in some of the poses. The most important thing is for you to stay safe So give yourself a moment now, scanning your body and feeling how your body feels. Feeling for areas of, of tightness. It also feel some resistance in your body. So choose an area to focus. So in the practice today, we'll be working into the hip area, are opening into the hips, into pelvis. So right now, breathe there, breathe into pelvis. And as you breathe out, feeling for that release as you let go. And then breathe in, lengthen the spine. And as you breathe out, let your shoulders soften down away from your ears. On the next breath, spread the breath into your back ribs. And exhale, feel for that release. So one more breath, deep breath. And exhale, release. Open your hands. Shoelace pose. Bring your left foot over your right thigh and reach out with your heels. Your right foot is under your uh, left uh, thigh and knee. Uh, if that's difficult, then ease the foot back. If that creates pain for you, then place your left foot onto your right calf or have your feet in cross leg seated. So you, want, you will feel this into hips. Try to avoid this feeling into knees. Bring your hands by hips, slightly back from the hips. And use your right hand to block your uh, right nostril. Inhale through the left nostril, inhale for five. Block both nostrils and hold the breath you're holding for 20. So your feet, they're active, reach out with your heels, flex toes to shins. Keeping the spine long. Exhale through the right nostril. Exhale. Exhale for 10. Inhale through the right nostril. Inhale for 5. Lock both nostrils and hold the breath. Hold for 20.
Exhale through left nostril. Exhale. Exhale for 10. And change the cross of legs. Shoelace pose with your right foot over your left. Reach out with your heels. Make the adjustments so that you're working in, in a way that it feels right for you. Bring your uh, right hand by hip and then fold the first two fingers of your left hand. Your ring finger blocks your right nostril. Inhale through left nostril. Inhale for five. Lock both nostrils and hold the breath. You're holding for 20. Exhale through your right nostril. Exhale for 10. Inhale through the right nostril for five. Lock both nostrils, hold, hold for 20. Exhale through your left nostril, exhale for 10. and release. Bring the soles of your feet together and flex your toes back towards your shins. Your heels, they're about 12 inches away from your pelvic bone. Hands by hips into chest opener. Bend the elbow slightly and then push the floor away as you lift the sternum and as you lengthen out of lower back. Now breathe in. Inhale for 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold the breath, hold for 10. Bring your hands forward of your shins and then exhale. <sighs> exhale completely. Chin tucks into chest. Now pull your belly in. Pull it in. Pull it up. You're spreading your ribs. Spread diaphragm. Keep lengthening ribs away from waist. Relax your belly. Stay here. And then breathe. As you breathe, spread the breath into your back ribs and using this breath to open up your back ribs. And as you exhale, you're folding. Now breathe in and breathe into side ribs. Feel as if the ribs are opening up right from your hip joint, right up towards your armpits. And exhale as you fold, bellies in. On the next breath as you breathe, feel as if you're moving your belly away from your pelvic bone. And exhale as you fold. Inhale, release, push the floor away, breathe in as you come all the way on back up. Come into, into a, straighten your right leg. Tuck your left foot in so the left heel is by your groin. If you want to go further in this pose, bring your uh, left foot back so that the left heel is by your glutes. Grab hold of your left ankle with left hand or the fingertips are to the floor. And as you inhale, reaching your right arm up as you open the right side ribs. As you exhale, bring your right hand down on the inside of your right leg. Relax your right ear towards the right shoulder. If you're not holding your left ankle with left hand, lift the left hand up and then reach it back about 12 inches away from the floor. Now breathe in and lift your right ribs away from right hip. And as you exhale, glide your left shoulder down away from left ear. Activate your feet, spread the toes. Breathe into the left side of your neck, deep breath. And as you exhale, relax your jaw. So if you can, place your 
right hand into the ball of your foot if you can if you, if, and if you can't the hand is onto the ankle or foot and as you breathe lift out of your right side and as you exhale as you glide your left shoulder down away from your ear reach the ball of your foot into your right hand so feel this opening into the side ribs now breathe in and bring your left arm all the way around the back tucking it onto your right thigh and or hip and as you exhale squeeze your left shoulder down away from your ear left elbow reaches towards right sit bone now breathe to heart and feel for energizing heart with breath and as you exhale as you glide your left shoulder down focus on reaching your elbow down towards your right sit bone chest opener on the next breath release your left arm stretch your left arm out and up towards the ceiling and as you exhale as you arc your chest forward reach your left arm straight back breathe into back of your heart feeling for energized heart with breath and as you exhale you're lengthening that left arm back taking bone away from bone inhale reach your left arm right up towards the ceiling as you exhale you're lengthening your left arm forward press forward with the ball of your right foot press it into the palm of hand as you breathe breathe into your left side ribs and use this breath to open those ribs the intercostal muscles open as you exhale as you're lengthening that left arm over left ear use your left arm breathing and use your left arm to pull your body up and use your right hand to support your head and neck as you come up and change change the cross of your legs so you're straightening your left leg left leg is reaching straight forward your right foot is tucked in so that the heel is by the groin. Foot presses against your thigh. Feet active. If you're going further, bring your right foot back so that the heel is by the glute. Then reach your right hand back, grab hold of the ankle or the fingertips are to the floor. Press down into left sit bones. Breathe in, reaching your left arm is up, opening side ribs. As you breathe out, the hand is down. You're either taking hold of the ball of the foot uh, the foot the ankle or the hands to the floor now breathe in and lengthen side ribs away from your left hip and as you exhale glide your right shoulder away from your right ear activate the feet on both both feet and spread the toes now breathe as you breathe lift your chest keep moving chest up towards the chin feel the opening right across your sternum and as you exhale, soften your right shoulder away from right ear. Now, if you can, your left hand is into the uh, ball of the foot. And then breathe, stretch out of your left side. And as you exhale, as you glide your right shoulder down, reach the ball of your foot forward into your left hand. On the next breath, as you inhale, slide your right arm all the way around the back and tuck it onto your left thigh hip or into clothing. And as you exhale, you're gliding your right shoulder back and down away from right ear. Deep breath, keep lengthening low ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, reach forward with the ball of your left foot, reach it into the palm of a hand and glide your right shoulder away from right ear. Chest opener. On the next breath, release your right arm and reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, lengthen, reach your right arm straight back. Fingers are spreading. Deep breath, breathe into back ribs. And as you exhale, as you reach your right arm back, reach forward, ball of the foot reaches forward into the palm of hand. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, wrapping your right shoulder as you reach your arm over your ear. Don't allow the arm to come lower than your ear. So keep opening the side ribs as you reach that right arm forward. As you breathe, keep lifting out of your left side. 
And as you exhale, as you lengthen that right arm forward, glide your right sit bone back. Left foot is active. Reach forward in the ball of the foot into palm of hands if you can. Use your right arm breathing to pull your body up and use your left hand to support your head and neck as you come all the way on up. And release your legs. Coming into your abdominal uh, sequence, starting today with elbow to knee. So lie down, lie down onto your back. If your back is tweaky uh, today in this pose, when you lie down onto your back, keep the soles of your feet onto the floor. And I'll demonstrate uh, this pose. So if you lie down onto your back, the soles of your feet are onto the floor and hands are clasped behind your head and neck. When you, you press your lower back to the floor, inhale, you lift your head, shoulder blades up, you pause. You exhale, you curl the tailbone up, and you reach your elbows to your left knee and your belly pulls in. If you want to go further, you lift one foot up and stay. If you want to go further, you straighten that leg. Belly's in at the end of the exhale. Then inhale, head to center, bend the knees, and as you exhale, lower down the foot to the floor. So you keep that going to the, to the stage that works for you today. If you're not working with your lower back pain, then your feet are off the floor, the knees are lined with hips, heels are just below the knees and toes are flexed to shins. From here, everyone, uh, inhale, lift your head, shoulder blades up, hold the breath. As you exhale, as you curl tailbone up, reach your elbows to your left knee and reach your right leg forward, spread the toes, relax your right hip and glide your right thigh forward away from hip, pull belly in. Inhale, head to centre, bend the knees, hold the breath and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows are to right knee and reach your left leg forward. Reach the left leg forward about 45 degrees angle. Relax your left hip, send your thigh forward away from hip, pull belly in. Inhale, come back to centre, bend the knees, hold the breath and press your lower back down. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Reach your elbows to your left knee. You're reaching your right leg forward. Curl tailbone up. Send your right leg forward. Lift the chest. Reach your elbows up. Pull belly in. Inhale. Come back to centre. Bend the knees. Hold the breath. Press your lower back to the floor. Exhale. Curl tailbone up. Reach your elbows to your right knee. Send your left leg forward. Relax, relax your left thigh. And then reach your thigh bone forward, away from waist. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to centre. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, and reach your elbows to your left knee. Reach your right leg forward. Relax your right hip, and then reach forward with the ball of your foot. Spread the toes. Lift your chest. Reach your elbows up. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to centre, bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, reach your elbows to your right knee, send your left leg forward about 45 degrees. Relax your left hip, ease your left thigh forward, reach out, spread the toes, just send your left leg forward, pull belly in, lift the chest, reach your elbows up, pull belly in. Inhale, come back to centre, bend the knees, Hold the breath and exhale, release. Lower head and shoulders to floor and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. Bring the soles of your feet together so the knees are out towards the side. And bring your hands onto your thighs, heel of hands by hip crease. Now from here, take a deep breath. Hold the breath and allowing the breath to work through your body so it connects with, with each cell. And then exhale. Pull your belly in. Keep pulling your belly in. Feel your diaphragm spreads. Chest opens up. Your hands are pressing against the thighs. The thighs are pressing against the hands. Feel this lengthening into lower back as you open up into hips and into pelvis. 
and, and relax. But use your hands, draw the soles of your feet, the, the hip, knees together, soles of your feet are onto the floor. Bridge pose, draw your heels back so your heels are moving towards your sit bones. And reach down with fingertips, brush your heels with fingertips. Then let, let your arms relax by your side and let your shoulders relax away from your ears. Press your lower back to floor and breathe in. Lengthen belly away from pelvis, lengthen lower ribs away from sacrum. Press your feet to the floor and as you exhale, tilt pelvis, lifting pelvis up away from the floor. Now breathe into your side ribs. Feel the ribs as they lengthen away from hips. And as you exhale, as you push the floor away, feel the lengthening ankles away from heels. On the next breath, as you breathe, you're moving belly away from pelvis. Feel this right down from your pelvic bone. Keep moving the belly. And as you exhale, as you lift up, pushing the floor away as you lift. Breathe to the heart and feeling for energizing your heart with this breath. As you exhale, lifting up. Now notice how your body feels. Notice what you feel and where you are feeling this. Now breathe into your area. As you exhale, push the floor away as you lift up. Deep breath, inhale. And as you exhale, tilt pelvis, lower your upper back to floor. Tilt pelvis, lower mid back to floor. You tilt as you lower all the way on down to the floor. And from here, roll to your right side. Bring your left hand down to the floor by your chest. Inhale and push the floor away with your left hand as you come up. Using your right hand to support your head and neck. Then come onto knees. Your next pose today is, mm, is dolphin. So in your dolphin pose, we'll do uh, two of these today. The first one, so bring your hands onto your biceps to measure, then bring your elbows to the floor. Reach your hands forward and clasp your hands. Now check your elbows, the elbows and shoulders are aligned or slightly narrow. You don't want the elbows wider than the shoulders. From here, your neck and shoulders relax. You breathe into the upper back, lift, spread back, curl toes under. And as you exhale, you lift the knees off the floor and move your chest to thighs and knees. And then breathe into the upper back, broaden the upper back with breath. Now push the floor away with four arms on exhale. Reach back, back of thighs, back of calves, reaches back. On the next breath, as you breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, reach your sit bones up, reach them back. Breathe into heart, deep breath, feeling for energizing your heart with this breath. And as you exhale, reach back, heels to floor. Breathe into back and broaden the breath, broaden the back ribs. And as you exhale, reach it back. Inhale, release. Bend the knees and come all the way down to the floor. So you can do this pose again, either with the hands clasped or the palm of the hands facing down. In this pose, you will go a little bit further so to work with one leg up. But if working with one leg up is challenging and more challenging than you want, then keep both feet to the floor. So measurement is the same. Reach your hands forward. Neck, shoulders relax. Then breathe into upper back. Lift, spread back, curl toes on them. As you exhale, lift your knees off the floor and then lengthen the spine as you reach sit bones back. From here, press your right foot to the floor and as you breathe in, lift your left leg up. And as you exhale, reach it back. Breathe into left hip, feel for easing left thigh away from hip. And as you exhale, you're reaching your left leg back. You can bend your right knee slightly. On the next breath, as you inhale, send 
your left leg back away from hip. And as you exhale, attempt to straighten your right leg. Push the floor away with both hands. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale, lower your left foot to the floor. Left foot is anchored to the floor. Press your left foot down, breathe in, lift your right leg up. And as you exhale, reach it back. Breathe into right hip, feel for easing right thigh away from hip. And as you exhale, lengthen it back. Deep breath, feel for sending thigh bone back. And exhale, lower your right foot to the floor. Now breathe to heart, deep breath. Exhale, release, bend the knees, come all the way down to the floor. And from here, come up to stand. So you're standing on your mat in horse stance. Your knees are bent, the toes are turning out, the knees are turning towards your middle or, or third toe middle or second toe. Tuck your elbows into the side for bird wing. Your hands are reaching forward. From here, keep going deep as you can into the pose. Then inhale, draw your hands together, little fingers touch. As you exhale, lift your chest and open your arms out. Now squeeze your elbows in, but reach your arms back as much as you can. And inhale. And as you exhale, as you lift the chest, you open up. Now reach your arms back, feel as if you're squeezing shoulder blades towards each other. Inhale. And then exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. and release and stand. Heel toe feet together and stand at the front of your mat, coming into your salutations. So stand with your feet together. If your back is feeling tweaky, stand with your feet a little bit wider, about hip distance apart. As you exhale, bring your hands together by chest. Press your feet down, feel as if your heels are anchors of the floor and then press down with the rest of your feet. Lift the toes, spread the toes. Now press your feet down and then feel the arc of the foot as it rises up. And feel this security of the earth and then breathe in. Reach your arms out, up towards the sky. Lift chest, lift your back ribs. As you exhale, fold forward, bellies in, hands to the floor. Lunge, breathe in, step your left leg back. Bend your left knee, place your left knee to the floor and pad the left knee if needed. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. And as you exhale, hands down, step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. The wrists are under the sh uh, hands are under the shoulders. Now bend the knees. And as you exhale, lower down. Keep the elbows tucked in. So all the way down, reach your legs back. And as you breathe in, move your chest and ribs forward. Your legs are lengthening back. Elbows are reaching back to hips. And as you exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Lunge. Inhale, step. Your left foot forward between the hands. Place your right knee to the floor. Pad your right knee if needed. And then push the floor away with your left leg as you reach your arms to the sky. And as you exhale, hands are down. Step your right leg forward for forward bend. As you breathe in, feel as if you're lengthening belly away from pelvis. Push the floor away as you stand. Lengthen the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. And exhale, hands together by chest. Inhale, arms are lengthened through spine. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Lunge, breathe in, step your right leg back, bend your right knee, push the floor away with left foot as you reach your arms to the sky. As you exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, bend the knees. As you exhale, lower down, keep elbows tucked in. Inhale, cobra. Move your chest and ribs forward as you lengthen your legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Lunge, breathe in, step your right leg forward between the hands, left knee to the floor. Push the floor away as you reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left leg forward for forward bend. 
Now breathe in, stand. Lengthen through spine as you reach your arms to the sky. And exhale, hands together by chest. Chair pose, bend the knees. And as you breathe in, sweep your arms up. Lift the chest, but reach your sit bones back. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, move chest away from thighs and knees. Flatten your hands to the floor, and as you breathe out, step or hop it back into plank. Lower down, keeping elbows glued to side ribs. Inhale, cobra. Move chest down, move forward as you lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step your left foot forward by your left hand. Right foot eases towards the right edge of the mat. Turn your right foot forward about 45 degrees angle and push the floor away with your left foot as you reach your arms out and up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down. Step your left leg back for plank. Feet together. Exhale, lower down. Keep elbows in. Breathe into cobra. Move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back. Downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in. Step your right foot forward by right hand. Left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Left foot is turned forward and push the floor away as you reach your arms to the sky. And exhale, hands down. Step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, feet together, and exhale, lower down. Feel as if you're pushing the floor away as you lower down. Inhale, cobra. Move chest and moves forward as you're lengthening your legs back. Exhale, press it back. Downward dog. On the next breath, bend the knees. And as you breathe in, step or hop your legs between the hands. And as you exhale, fold forward. Chair pose, knees are bent, lift your chest, reach your arms up, but reach your sit bones back. Exhale, stand, hands together by chest. Feet presses down, inhale, arms up, lengthen through spine. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Lunge, breathe in, step your left leg back, bend your left knee and reach your arms up. You're pushing the floor with both legs. Exhale, hands down, step in your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels and exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra, move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Lunge, breathe in, left foot steps forward between the hands, right knees to the floor. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up. Exhale, hands down, step your right leg forward for forward bend. Now breathe in, lengthen through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. And exhale, hands together by chest. Feet presses down, inhale, arms up. Telescoping ribs as you reach your arms up to sky. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Lunge, inhale, step your right leg back, bend your right knee and push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down. Step your left leg back for plank, feet together, and as you exhale, lower down, you can bend the knees. Inhale, cobra, move chest down, ribs forward as you lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Lunge, breathe in, step your right leg forward between the hands, reach your arms up towards the sky. And exhale, hands down, step your left leg forward for forward bend. Inhale, through spine as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands together by chest. Coming into B series. So from here, bend the knees. And as you breathe in, sweep your arms up. Lift your chest, but reach your sit bones back. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. And as you breathe in, lengthen, belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, step or hop it back into plank. Lower down, keeping elbows tucked in. As you breathe in, move your chest and ribs forward whilst lengthening your legs back. And as you exhale, press it back for downward facing dog, feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog. On the next breath, as you breathe in, warrior one, step your left foot forward by your left hand. Ease your right foot towards the right edge of the mat. And push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Press down into your right foot. And as you breathe in, lengthen, pushing the floor away as you lengthen out of your right side. And as you exhale, push the floor away with your left foot. Glide your right hip forward, left hip is back. Now breathe in, lift your belly, lift up from lift chest. And as you exhale, taking it a little deeper. Deep breath, inhale, sternum lifts. 
And as you exhale, go in a little deeper. From here, bring your hands to the floor. Flatten your right hand to the floor, fingers aligned with your left toes. Easy twisting warrior, reaching your left arm up towards the sky. Press back into your right leg. And as you're breathing, glide your ribs forward away from right hip. And as you exhale, reach. If that's a difficult position for you, then you can have your right hand onto a block uh, if you can. So you get this opening. Now breathe. As you breathe in, lengthen ribs away from your left hip. And as you exhale, as you open up, press down with your left foot as you open up towards the left. Inhale, release. Place your hands to the floor and place your right knee down onto the floor. Setting up for lounge lunge. So in your lounge lunge, your right hand is coming forward about 10 inches ahead of your shoulder. Left hand tractions your left thigh forward. As you breathe in, glide the ribs forward away from your uh, right hip. And as you breathe out, as you reach your right leg back, draw your chest towards the inside of your left leg. Now breathe in as you breathe, feel as if you're moving belly forward away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, opening out a little bit more. On the next breath, as you inhale, reach your left arm up towards the sky. And as you exhale, reach your left arm back towards your right heel. Now breathe into your right side ribs and balloon the breath as if you're moving the ribs up towards your right armpit. And as you exhale, send in that right leg back as you reach your left arm back. Now breathe to sternum. Feel as if you're arcing chest up towards the sky, left side. And as you exhale, open up your heart as you reach your left arm back. Inhale, release. Bring your hands down on the inside of your uh, left leg. Curl the toes under of your right foot and then reach your right heel away from you. Press down into both legs. As you breathe in, feel as if you're moving belly forward away from pelvis. And as you exhale, bend the elbows and allow your body to hover over the edge of your mat. Now breathe into lower back as you're lengthening ribs away from waist. And as you exhale, if you can go further, bring your forearms down towards the floor. Four forearms onto a block. Now breathe, as you breathe, keep lengthening ribs away from waist. And as you exhale, reach your right heel forward as you reach your left thigh knee forward. If this is stronger than you want it to be, then place your right knee to the floor. One more breath in this, deep breath. And exhale, release. Place your knee to the floor, step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down, keep elbows tucked in. You all the way down, bring your hands back and grab hold of your sit bones with both hands. Now as you breathe in, lift your head, lift your chest, lift your legs. And as you exhale, as you lengthen your legs back, chin tucks to chest so you're not straining your neck. Now breathe as you breathe, lift sternum. And as you exhale, lengthen your legs back. Inhale, release, lower down. Your hands are under the shoulders. Breathe into lower back and curl toes under. And exhale, press it back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in. Step your right foot forward by your right hand. Left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Turn the foot forward about 45 degrees and then push the floor away as you reach your arms to the sky. Press down into both feet. And as you breathe in, telescope in the ribs up. And as you exhale, as you go a little deeper, left hip glides forward, right hip is back. You're squaring the hips up. Now breathe and lift your belly. Dive from lift chest. As you exhale, feel as if you're pushing the floor away. Lift the toes, spread the toes. Feel as if you're pressing back towards your left heel. And as you breathe in, lengthen ribs out away from waist. And as you exhale, go in a little deeper, but you're pushing the floor away with feet. On the next breath, hands down either side of your front foot for twisting, easy twisting warrior. 
That left hand is the floor, fingers are about aligned with the toes. You can have the left hand onto a block. Now as you inhale, as you press your left arm down, your left foot presses down, you're sweeping your right arm up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, glide your right hip back. If it's easy for you to be the ball, to be on the ball of your left foot, then, then that's an option. Now breathe in as you glide your right ribs away from right hip. And as you breathe out, opening the chest towards the right side. Keep the neck relaxed if you can. Now breathe as you breathe your lengthening belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, glide your right hip back as you reach your right arm up. Reach out with the fingertips. Fingers are spreading. Now breathe in. Lengthen the ribs away from your left hip. And as you exhale, open out towards the right. Right foot presses to floor. Inhale, release, hands down. Place your left knee to the floor, setting up for lounge lunge. So your left hand is coming forward about 10 inches ahead of the shoulder. Your right hand is traction in your right thigh forward. Reach back into your left leg, feel as if you've anchored into the left shin and foot. And then breathe in, glide your ribs forward on your left side. Press your right foot to the floor. And as you exhale, you're arcing your left ribs towards the inside of right, left, right leg. Now breathe as you breathe, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, you're opening up. Press your right foot to floor. On the next breath, you breathe in, reach your right arm up towards the sky. And as you exhale, reach it back. As you breathe, balloon the breath into your left ribs as feel as if the ribs are moving towards left armpit. And as you're active, as you exhale, lengthen your right arm back. Both feet are active, you're pushing the floor away. Now breathe to heart and lift your chest as if up towards the sky. And as you exhale, reach back with that right arm. Inhale, release. Hands down on the inside of your right leg. Curl the toes under of your left foot and reach back into your left heel, Nankun stretch. From here, as you press your feet to the floor, breathe in and feel as if you're moving chest forward. And as you exhale, bend the elbows, hover over the edge of your mat. Now, if you can, press back into your left heel and breathe in, glide belly forward away from pelvis. And as you exhale, if you can, bend the elbows so the forearms are to the floor or the forearms are onto a block. Press your right foot to the floor and as you breathe in, glide your ribs forward away from right hip. And as you breathe out, reach back, your left heel reaches back. If this is stronger than you want it to be, place your left knee to the floor. Everyone breathe in, lengthen the ribs away from waist. And as you exhale, as you reach back into your left heel, Right foot presses down. Inhale, release. Place your left knee to the floor. Bring your hands under the shoulders and step your right leg back for plank. Then reach back into the heels. Your hands are under the shoulders. And as you exhale, lower down, keeping the elbows tucked into the side ribs. Once you're all the way down, bring your hands under the shoulders. Now breathe in and glide your chest and ribs forward, lengthening your legs back. And as you exhale, release, lower down, press back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog. On the next breath, as you inhale, step your left foot forward between the hands for lunge. Left foot is to the floor, right knees down. Push the floor away with your left foot as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. Twisting lunge, place your left hand onto left thigh. Now breathe in, reach your right arm up as you open side ribs. And as you breathe out, bring your left elbow over your right thigh knee. Make a fist with right hand, left hand is on top. As you breathe in, lengthen your ribs away from right hip. And as you exhale, you're twisting to left. Now breathe, as you breathe, feel for moving belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, Glide your right shoulder down as you twist to the left. Breathe to sternum, filling your heart with breath. And as you exhale, the shoulders away from your ears. From here, 
Release your right hand down to the outside of your left foot. Extended twisting lunge. And then reach your left arm up towards the sky. Now breathe in, lengthen your lower ribs away from your sacrum. And as you exhale, you open it out towards the left. Deep breath. And exhale as you open a little bit more. One more breath. Breathe into your left side ribs. Feel as if you're lengthening ribs away from left hip. And as you exhale, press your left foot to the floor. Twist to the left. And then inhale, release. Bring your hands to the floor for pigeon. Is your left foot towards the right edge of the mat. And then send your right leg straight back. So if your knees are hurting, you can sit onto your left sit bone and tuck your heel towards the groin. Otherwise, you're aiming to square the hips up. Your hands are under the shoulders, then walk them forward. Reach your right leg straight back. Bear down into pelvis, breathe in, lift, lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, you're folding forward. If you can, straighten your, straighten your right leg, lift, curl the toes on the, of your right foot, lift your knee off the floor and reach your right heel away from you. Now breathe in, as you breathe, expand your ribs wide towards your armpits. And as you exhale, as you fold forward, reach back into your right heel. Now breathe in as you breathe, feel as you're lifting and lengthening belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, reach your sit bones back towards your right heel. On the next breath, spread the breath into back ribs, using this to open up back ribs. And as you exhale, reach back. Inhale. Release. Knees to the floor. Hands are under the shoulders. Step your left leg back. Step it back for plank. Then reach back into heels. And as you exhale, lower down, keeping elbows tucked in. Boat pose. Clasp your hands behind your back. And then inhale. Lift chest. Lift legs. Lengthen your legs back. Spread the toes. Feel for moving your chest and ribs forward. But the neck is relaxed. You're lengthening out of lower back. Your sit bones are tucked into heels. And exhale, release, lower down. Your hands under the shoulders, breathe into lower back, curl toes under. And exhale, press back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing flow away in downward dog. On the next breath, as you inhale, step your right leg forward between the hands for lunge. Place your left knee to the floor. Push the floor away with both legs as you reach your arms up towards the sky. Press down into your left shin. As you breathe in, stretch and lengthen up. As you exhale, taking it a little deeper. Twisting lunge, raw. Right hand is onto right thigh. As you breathe in, reach your left arm is up. And as you exhale, your left elbow is over your right thigh knee. Make a fist with your left hand. Right hand is on top. Relax your left ear to left shoulder. Press into left shin. And then breathe in, balloon the breath into left ribs as you open the ribs away from left hip. And as you press your right foot to the floor, you're twisting to right. As you breathe, you're lengthening ribs away from right hip. Then as you breathe out, glide your right hip back as you twist to the right. Now breathe to heart and feeling for energizing heart with breath. And as you breathe out, twist, twist to the right, both shoulders down. Inhale, release for extended twisting lunge. So your right left hand is down on the outside of your right foot and your right arm is reaching up towards the sky. If you have a block and you're not reaching, you can have the hand, left hand is onto a block as your right arm is reaching up. So now breathe in, breathe in into low back. And as you exhale, you twist, reaching up with the right fingertips. As you breathe, feel, press your right foot to the floor and then lengthening belly away from right thigh. And as you exhale, open up, press your right foot to the floor as you open up, reach up with the fingertips of your right hand. One more like this, deep breath. 
and exhale, release. For pigeon, your hands are down either side of your front foot. You're sending your right foot towards the left edge of the mat. Again, if your knees are tweaked, you're sitting onto your uh, right sit bone and the heel is coming towards the groin. Otherwise, you're reaching your left leg back, uh, straight back. Your hips are facing forward, they're parallel. You bear down into pelvis, breathe in and lift and lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, lead with sternum as you fold forward. You can use your hands to give you an assist. And then breathe into lower back, using this breath to open up into lower back. And as you exhale, you're folding, belly's in. Now feet are active. Spread the toes, the balls of your feet are spreading. From your pelvic bowl, breathe in as you lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, as you fold forward, pull your belly in, glide your right thigh forward as you reach back into your left big toe. On the next breath, spread the breath into back ribs. And exhale as you fold. Inhale, release. Bring your hands under the shoulders. Curl the toes under of your left foot. Step back into plank. Then reaching back into heels. And as you exhale, low down. Keep the elbows glued into the side ribs. Once you're all the way down, bring your hands forward about 10 inches ahead of the shoulder. Press the tops of the feet to the floor. And as you breathe in, moving chest and ribs forward for low cobra. So your forearms can stay on the floor. And if you want to go further, lift the forearms up and use this to move your chest and ribs forward whilst lengthening your legs back. Now breathe to sternum, deep breath. And as you exhale, lengthen your legs back. Keep moving chest forward. Breathe into lower back as you're lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And exhale, release, lower down. Your hands ease under the shoulders. Breathe into lower back. Curl toes under. And exhale, press it back for downward facing dog. Staying in downward facing dog. As you breathe in, rise up onto tiptoes. And as you exhale, reach back. Deep breath, rising up onto tiptoes. And exhale, reach back. Now bend the elbows for turbo dog. Squeeze your forearms as if towards each other. Deep breath, broaden the upper back. And as you exhale, send your sit bones back. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale, release. Bend the knees and come all the way down to the floor. Raise your feet forward. So straighten your legs, your legs are re reaching straight forward. From here, as you reach forward, you reach out with your heels, the toes and flex back towards the shin. Sit up tall. Feel as if you're lengthening your ribs away from sacrum and you're lifting belly away from pelvis. You use your hands, you can glide your thighs forward, creating space into top of hips and hip flexors. As you breathe in, you're lengthening your arms out and up towards the sky. Now exhale, pull your belly in as you fold forward. You might be able to have your hands into the ball of your feet or to the, onto the foot, the ankle or the calf or the floor. Now breathe in and lift your belly up away from pelvis. And as you exhale, pull your belly in as you fold. Deep breath, spread, spread your back ribs. And exhale as you fold. Breathe to sternum, deep breath. And exhale, fold. One more breath here, deep breath. And as you exhale, fold. Inhale, release. And push the floor away, breathe in as you ease on up. Coming down into a lying down spinal twist. So in your lying down spinal twist, you'll be lying down on your, on your back. So you lie down on your back. Your arms are out towards the side. You lift your feet up off the floor. 
and it's your knees are moving towards your chest. From here, you breathe in into lower back, spreading ribs to floor. And as you breathe out, you draw your knees down towards your right armpit. Then your head goes into the opposite direction to your knees. Your right hand can come onto your left thigh or by hip. And as you breathe in, you're moving belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, relaxing your left shoulder away from your left ear. Now, if you want to give yourself an assist, you can use your right hand onto right hip. And you'll, when you breathe in, you breathe into lower back. And when you exhale, glide your right hip away from you. And this opens your lower back a little bit more. So that's a nice little assist. You can also have the hand onto your thigh, your right hand onto the left thigh, and your traction in sending the thigh away from you. So you're working towards getting your knees closer to each other and closer to the floor, but don't force this. Now breathe into sternum, filling your heart with breath. And as you exhale, allowing your body to let go a little bit more. Breathe into your lower back. And as you exhale, feel as if you're sending sit bones towards your heels. Now breathe, breathe to heart and feeling for energizing your heart with this breath. And exhale, your left shoulder is relaxing away from your ears. Release both arms to the floor. Now breathe in. And as you exhale, draw your left foot back to centre and then your right. Breathe into lower back, spreading ribs to floor. And as you exhale, your knees are coming down towards your left armpit. Your head is moving into the opposite direction. Your left hand is now onto left thigh or by, oh, sorry, onto right thigh or hip. And then allow your body just to release at its own rate. The knees may not touch the floor. They may not even be together. So now breathe. Breathe it into your lower back as you're lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And if you want to give yourself an assist without forcing it, using your left hand to glide your uh, left, your right sit bone down so you open it up into lower back. Now breathe into belly, moving your belly away from pelvis. And again, that assist is you're gliding your right thigh away from you. Now you feel a, a, a more opening into lower back. Now breathe to heart, deep breath and feeling for energizing your heart with this breath. And as you exhale, soften your right shoulder away from your ear. Breathe to where you're feeling this most. And exhaling, feeling for that release. Release both arms to the floor. Take a deep breath into lower back. And as you breathe out, draw your right knee back to center, followed by your left. And then place the soles of your feet onto the floor. You can now keep the soles of your feet flat to the floor or bring the soles of your feet together so the knees are out towards the side. Or straighten your legs. And if you do, bring your feet a little bit wider on, the, on your mat. Let your arms relax down by your side as you finish, as you lie down into Shavasana. Your final pose. If it's comfortable for you to close your eyes, close your eyes. And allow your body to let go. Feel as if your mind is relaxed as you look up into the third eye, just a point of focus. Your eyes are closed, looking into the darkness. Relax the back of skull. Relax your forehead and eyes. Relax jaw. So a good moment to open your mouth and Moving jaw from side to side. Relaxing into jaw bones, your masseter muscles, and down into neck, scalies muscles. 
let your shoulders soften and if you can glide the shoulders away from your ears so you're creating more space and length into your neck relax your collarbones relax sternum and then let go relax your upper back and feel your back as it spreads to the floor relax your diaphragm and then let go of your mid back now feel that deeper connection as more of you greater volume of you is now connected connected with the earth relax your belly and relax your lower back you may feel your lower back is really opening up now getting closer towards the floor and if you want to get closer then slightly curl pubic bone to navel and reach your sit bones away from you and just work in what feels good to you lengthen the thighs you can do them simultaneously or one at a time so you lengthen thighs away from you feel how it opens into hips into pelvis now relax your thighs relax your knees and calves and relax your shins ankles and relax feet relax your toes relax your heels and completely relax Now relax your arms, your shoulders, relax triceps and biceps, soften elbows and relax your forearms, your wrists, your hands, relax your fingers. Allow your body to relax, you're not using your muscles, ligaments, you're not using any of these to hold on. Your body is complete. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. So now just let your body feel itself coming into its own as you let go. Still your mind. And feeling that sense of openness, that sense of freedom when you let go, when you rid yourself of the worries, of the concerns, of the I can't, I can, I must, I can't, those kind, that kind of chattering, let it go. And replace, replace that kind of narrative with the narrative that is congruent with you and the you you most want to be. Feel the edges of toes and edges of fingers and breathe into these edges. Allowing the breath to soak into cells, cell tissues. So on the next breath, stretch, stretch in a way that feels good. Bend the knees, move the knees towards the chest, roll to your left side. Bring your right hand to the floor by chest, breathe in. On exhale, push the floor away with your right hand as you come up. Use your left hand to support your head and neck as you're coming back into a seated position. Sit up tall and bring your hands together. The thumbs are lightly touching sternum. Congratulate yourself for your practice and thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. And finishing with a breath, inhale and exhale. Namaste. Thanks everyone. Really well done. Thanks for showing up and for thank yourself for your practice. The We may be opening the sports centre in the next uh, 10 days uh, based on government's policy. So look out for that and keep going to the website and finding out what's going on. 
uh, keep yourself hydrated, uh, Epsom salt, magnesium salt, any of these will help to recover your body. Uh, there are lots of other uh, classes on the DMU leisure site, so have a look for those. Have a fantastic weekend and see you all soon. Namaste.